Hi there and welcome here to this leak where today we're going to talk about our adjustable reflux column still. Now for a couple of months now these stills have been out of stock purely because we've been too busy to build any but now we've got a lot more in stock. We've, uh, our engineers have been working all out to get as many of them done as possible so now these units are available again. Now those of you that's already done training with us or busy with currently with training and if, especially if you're busy with C1 um, introduction to distilling or the first section of our C10 comprehensive distilling course you would recognize these stills from our discussion of still development and reflux as one of the first groundbreaking still types uh, that led to the development of high reflux stills, fractionating reflux column stills and plate column stills and everything that followed thereafter as in multi-column stills, hybrid stills and so forth. Now the adjustable reflux column still works on the principle of distillate flow control also sometimes referred to as liquid management systems. So what we have here if you look at the basic still design is we've got a column um, and we've actually broken the column up into two sections. Now, again, if you've already done training with us and you understand reflux, you would understand why. But just to quickly clarify, the reason for breaking it up into two sections is that we can increase the internal reflux of the column while still making use of the adjustable reflux as well. Now, this allows us to uh, attain and maintain high purity alcohol while still maintaining high flow rate. Now, what do I mean by that? It means I can run this still at a high percentage alcohol, high percentage ABV, making vodka for instance, and still run it relatively fast because I've got a greater internal height. However, if I don't want to go off to maximum alcohol, I want to do for instance a brandy type product, which is distilled best between 60 and 70 percent, then I only use the bottom section and I don't have to use the entire column. That allows me to once again maintain the purity that I want while still maintaining a high flow rate. Now, and not losing flavor because I'm going too high. Now, I just need to explain this because a lot of people misunderstand the point of reflux. A lot of people are under the mistaken impression that the goal of reflux is purely to attain high percentage alcohol. Now, that is complete fallacy. That is absolutely wrong. The goal of reflux, one of the goals, yes, is to at attain and maintain a high percentage alcohol. But it's not just to attain and maintain a high percentage, it's to do that to any percentage alcohol. Reflux is used to maintain a percentage alcohol, to attain any percentage alcohol, and of course to increase your recovery rate to make sure that you get more usable alcohol out of your fermentation by compressing the heads, compressing the tails, increasing your heart's cut, having less bleeding effect or smearing effect of heart, or heads and tails into your heart's cut, giving you more usable alcohol. And that is what these stills do, as with plate column stills, fractionating reflux column stills, and so forth. So, we've got the column and the column is filled with packing. Now we prefer to use copper mesh and that is provided with the column. You get your rolls of copper mesh in order to pack this column. At the top we have a catchment and above the catchment we've got our condenser coil. Now you'll see a little hole at the, at the top that's a vent. That's to avoid pressure buildup. Now it's very important that this design of still must have that little hole there because this design unlike other types of stills can be closed to outside air pressure. You can close the vapor path. So if you do not have that vent at the top, it is possible that this still could basically explode because of pressure buildup. These stills are not pressure vessels. Stills aren't supposed to be pressure vessels. They are always open to atmosphere, unless we are of course talking vacuum stills, but that's a completely different topic. So that vent at the top is to avoid pressure buildup. It also tells you and or warns you whether you're running the still too fast because if your rate of heat addition is greater than what the condenser can handle, there will be steam coming out the top. That already tells you slow things down. You're running the still too fast. So our vapor rises up in the col column, comes into contact with the condenser and it condenses into a little catchment here. From there the distillate flows out and then through what a lot of people assume is a Liebig condenser. And yes, the design is a Liebig condenser design, but this is not a condenser.
This is a cooling sleeve. It is already liquid coming out here, but it is hot liquid. The reason for the cooling sleeve is, of course, that we've got a parrot at the bottom. Now, for those of you that's worked with alcohol meters and SG hydrometers, you would know that they are calibrated for a certain uh, number of degrees, either 20 degrees Celsius or 15 degrees Celsius. Those are the two normal calibration temperatures. Now, in order to get an accurate reading, your distillate needs to be as close as possible to that temperature. So the cooling sleeve here is to cool down the liquid, the hot distillate liquid coming out of the catchment, to cool that down as close as possible to 20 degrees, fill up the parrot, and you get a real-time reading of how strong the alcohol is coming out of your still right now. Now where does the, distil uh, the distillate flow control and the liquid management come in? With this little tap over here. Utilizing this tap, I can control my distillate flow. I can control my flow rate. A slower flow rate means more reflux inside my column, means a higher percentage alcohol. A faster flow rate means less reflux and a lower percentage alcohol. So I can finish my entire run from beginning to end at any percentage alcohol I want by controlling my flow rate through that little tap. Now that is the basic column and how the column works. Now when you buy the still, you can either buy it complete as it stands here with a 25 litre boiler or you can just buy the column. Either or, the column comes complete with all its piping, all its fittings, including a Godida connection fitting so you can just connect it to a normal hose pipe at home or tap if you were so inclined and it comes with its thermometer. It also comes with an insulation, a foam insulation sleeve if you wanted to insulate the column. That would normally be if you want to do lower percentage alcohol runs, not higher percentage alcohol runs. Higher percentage alcohol runs, you actually want it exposed because it will give you more reflux. If you buy it as a starter kit or as a complete unit, you get a 25 litre stainless steel boiler with it. This boiler has a reinforced bottom so it can be used on gas or at an additional charge we can modify this to run off electricity by fitting a port. You'll get a, either 2 or 4 kilowatt element that can be mounted inside with a control box. But as I said there is an additional charge for that modification. If you buy the still as a starter kit, obviously as with all our other starter kits you receive an alcohol meter, SG hydrometer, yeast, nutrients, potassium carbonate, citric acid, pH strips, everything you need in order to get started with fruit, rum or sugar water fermentations. Whiskey fermentations for, or to do whiskey or grain based fermentations you need to take the uh, whiskey add-on kit in addition. Now the one limiting factor of this still however is ginning. This is not meant for ginning. A lot of people do gin with it, uh, specifically the infused uh, distillation methodology where the botanicals are inside or steeped inside alcohol inside the boiler beforehand and then distilled through. But because this is a reflux still, you tend to lose a lot of flavor that way. Another way that some people try to gin in this is by putting bags of botanicals inside the column. It does work, you do get flavor, but you can get some acrid flavors coming through as well. And that's because the botanicals are in line. Now, in line is not advised for ginning. Yes, we do do it in our uh, Olympic stills. We do use an inline vapor infusion methodology in the Olympic stills. And we get away with it because it's small stills and it's more for product development, not really for production. But in a larger still, it does not make sense to do that because with an inline botanical infusion in the column you get drip back where these flavors basically refluxes um, uh, against the botanicals the alcohol uh, refluxes and then these flavors drip back into the boiler where it can, can, uh, can undergo changes due to the higher temperatures inside the boiler and that can give you some burnt flavors acrid flavors and so forth that is why we always offset are ginning baskets. When you're looking at commercial production stills, ginning heads, cartridges, and so forth, it's always offset and not in line to avoid that type of flavor. So yes, there are ways that you could gin with these units, but it is not recommended. This type of still is not recommended for ginning. However, to produce the neutral spirits for your ginning, to produce rum, to produce whiskey, to produce brandy, to produce any other type of spirits, these stills are ideally suited. They are very 
cost effective for what they can accomplish compared to plate column stills and fractionating column stills and they are very user friendly. Once you get the hang of it, it's a very simple still to use, very easy still to use and also a very easy still to modify as nothing stops you of course in future to add on additional sections. Now for those of you that are like working with your hands, you like building things, you want to build your own stills, you'll also be very happy to know that we sell the plans for this. Full instructions, parts list, um, ways to assemble it and so forth. Everything is available in an ebook on our website as well. The adjustable reflux column still or build your own adjustable reflux column still ebook is available on our website as well so you do have that option too to just buy the instructions and build the still yourself. But if you don't want to uh, do it yourself, if you like me not very good working with your hands then these are now available again to order from us so don't waste any time and place your order today.